Okay, this is Doug Holmes, uh, starting on my part five of my uh, documentary on shopping without a mask in California. And I'm standing outside of Trader Joe's uh, in Sacramento. Now, my wife is uh, the one that always shops at this specific one near our house. And um, I've never done it, but she tells me that she has to always tell them that you uh, that she has a, a medical condition and that's why she's not gonna be wearing a mask now they've never stopped her so this is working 100% every time and I think that's the strategy uh, that people should be using at least uh, at the places where um, they're they think they're gonna have some trouble so here I go I'm gonna uh, flip this around the other direction and put it in my pocket so I have two hands free. There's no line right now. And I, I've heard that there's always people lined up to get in. So that should be nice. No, I got, I got my own bag today. Okay, so we're not using reusables right now, but if you want to... I can use a cart. Yeah, and we just prefer you don't like put stuff in the bag because then you can, I would have to bag it inside instead of outside. Oh, okay, no problem. Just have you put it at the bottom here. So oh, please, sure. Let me clean this for you. Thank you. You're very welcome. So that was interesting. He didn't even ask me about a mask. Okay. Um, now I've got a shopping list here. I'm gonna get only one item right now, just to make this fast, and I'll I'll stop it and then go get some more stuff. Alfredo pasta sauce. Alfredo pasta sauce. Okay. So there it is. the deal i'm not a normal shopper here i, I can't be using my car, my cart right my bag so you can't touch it you have to do it outside so when i get outside i put it in there okay so now i should put it in my bag down here okay What's the deal with the bags and doing it like that? Um, so the, we're just trying to limit the amount of like outside products that get put on the counter because then we have to clean it way more often than we already do. Oh. Um, so yeah, we just don't want them like touching the counter and stuff. How do you feel that having a mask all day like that? Isn't that getting in your buggy or anything? Um, not really at this point. I mean, I've been wearing it since uh, March, so wow. I'm kind of used to it by now. Any headaches? No? No. Wow. Okay, well, that was really, uh, I guess, a real breeze. Uh, so, um, so it looks like uh, in this particular case, now it could vary by employees, you know, throughout the day. Um, differences and employees could easily change how they treat you. Um, a lot of people were very interested in me doing this uh, video because they want to shop at Trader Joe's without a mask, and it looks like. Boy, if it's if it's Sacramento, I don't think you can have any problem at all. But if, of course, if it is another area, it could have you know different management and different restrictions. But it looks like for Sacramento, at least this particular Trader Joe's. I don't know if there's more in Sacramento, but if it's uh, if it's this one, there's not a problem whatsoever. I have a little follow-up comment here. When I went back in to get most of my shopping done, I, uh, I was met at the door by someone who did 
start to talk about a mass. So it was some young girl, and uh, so um, I noticed that the the normal doors were not actually working normal. <laughs> they uh, they they didn't uh, open when they somebody approached. They were manually open, so they basically had them shut. And when I got there, I started grabbing my um, my cart and put my bag that I brought with me at the bottom like they want me to do uh, and then um, and so I, I was just gonna walk right in but since the door wasn't open that gave the person time to ask me whether I had a mask and uh, so I said no I don't wear a mask and and she said uh, uh, oh you have to wear a mask in the store and so I wanted to test that phrase just I don't wear a mask just to make sure that um, how they res were gonna respond to that and um, when they when that didn't work um, then I, I went to the the backup that I know is pretty trusted which is uh, that I ha have medical condition and so she said oh okay and then she opened it up right away let me in and I did all my shopping and um, and so Airplane flying over. I don't know if you can see it right over the top of the tower, right, up, right here is uh, the sun. It's just all orange because of the fires in California right now. So it's a very smoky day. Okay, so so I did all my shopping and went through. I went to the same cashier as the first time and uh, paid him and walked out. So it was interesting and just like as I expected. It could change from moment to moment. It depends on who is at the door, who's uh, meeting you, and uh, whether they have Nazi tendencies or if they're normal people and don't really care. So, <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to add that in because I actually had two shopping experiences and they were both different today at, at the same store within a few minutes. Okay, that's all. Bye.